All right, welcome to another edition of A.H. Live. So excited to be back with you, and we have an incredible guest, a saxophonist. He's a little newer on the scene, but he is burning up the charts, sounding incredible on jazz radio. Yes, I'm talking about Daryl Beebe, all the way from Motown, saxophonist extraordinaire. If you listen to jazz radio, you have definitely been hearing him over the last several years. So we're so excited. He's got a brand new performance for you. I got a chance to sit down with him as well. And uh, so as every week that we do, we bring great performances to you and brand new content. So appreciate you guys. Do us a favor, click share. Let's spread the good vibes. We're here every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. And uh, also don't forget to like or follow Adam Holly Artist page. So you can not only be here for the shows, but also you can get all of the other great content throughout the week. Hey, let's get started with the tune. I decided to go a little old school back to my third record. This is a tune that came out in um, early 2020, February of 2020. Ended up being Song of the Year. It's always a fun one to start off the show. Hope you enjoy. It's called To the Top.
goodness, ladies and gentlemen, just get you started on a Wednesday to the top. As I mentioned, we have the incredible Daryl Beebe in the house with a brand new performance for you. Real quick before we get to that, just want to remind you if you want to help out the show, we make it real easy. Click that link in the description. PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Stars. You can also get to my website for uh, any of my merchandise. And uh, hey, we appreciate you so much. 101 episodes today. Hope you enjoy the incredible Daryl Beebe. All right. What's up, Daryl? How you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. How are you, Adam? Good to see you tonight. You know, I'm doing good, but not as good as you. You are looking sharp. Uh, <laughs> man, I think I need to do I need to do a wardrobe change to do this interview. No, no man, you look great. You look <laughs> fabulous. I, I feel unprepared for this interview. No, but uh, at any rate, uh, it's great to have you on the show and uh, been enjoying all of your fantastic music, been hearing it on the radio quite a bit. But uh, I want to start with you where I start with everybody. Why did you pick up the saxophone? Oh, my goodness. Good question. My dad was a musician and a music major. And uh, we tried. he had all kinds of instruments all throughout the house. I tried piano, guitar, drums. And for some reason, when I picked up the sax, it was just super easy. And and so, um, you know, it just it was just came to me naturally, man. And so, you know, like many of us, enjoyed it in middle school, enjoyed it through high school, got a scholarship, went and played in college. So I never put it down ever since. Wow, wow, yeah. that's incredible. Yeah, and I wonder, you know, I've had several people from Michigan, greater, the greater Michigan area, but also Detroit specifically, yeah. and I always have to ask, there, there had to be something in the water there, right? I mean, we've got such a great history of music. Motown is the first thing that comes to mind, but um, yeah. there's much more than that. Did that have yeah. anything to do with you uh, pursuing music? I would say so. I, I think I went to Mumford High School, and I can name a few folks that came out of there. So Earl Clue came out of Mumford High School, uh, Marvin Winans, uh, Fred Hammond, you know, so it was a, 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 a very welcoming uh, environment for music. Um, so, and then just the Detroit area in general, you know, uh, at the time, even in high school, I used to play at some of the local clubs. And so it, it yeah, I, I think our, our town just kind of breeds musicians. You know, a lot of them come out of church, a lot of them jazz, hip hop, you name it. So it's Motown, you know, what can you say? Yeah, well, and speaking of which, I played at Baker's about five years ago. And wow, you can smell the history when you walk in. <laughs> right, right. All the pictures of you're like, whoa, this, whoa, this is a big deal. Yeah. And man, they and they throw down in the kitchen too. I I thoroughly enjoyed myself after the show. It was very tasty. But uh, no, it's a great music town, so I'm not not surprised yeah. to hear that. I was surprised to read though is that you're multi uh, vocational. Okay. Um, is it true that you're a pastor as well as a musician extraordinaire? I'm not quite there at pastor yet, but okay. uh, no, I'm an elder at my church. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I do a few different things, you know. I stay busy. So, But I'm an elder at the church. I'm a musician. I'm as well as my, my title at work is executive director of college and career readiness and social emotion, a social emotional learning. So I'm an educator as well. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a hustler like you, man. <laughs> well, bills keep coming, right? So, right. got to do something. Well, right. this is another question, but it's always fascinating to hear because everyone has a different answer. Uh, it's one thing to become a great saxophonist or a great uh, instrumentalist. It's another thing to walk to the front of the stage and decide, I'm going to put my own sound out there. I'm going to put my own project, do my own shows. So why did you uh, decide to become a leader? Wow, that's wow, that is so powerful, man. Um, I would say probably in the college years, uh, played with a group of guys, and um, you know, every, everybody would pick, take turns, you know, with solo. You're up front, I'm I'm in the back. But as we got older, it was just like musicians kind of go their separate ways. So in order to continue the music and keep it going, it was kind of like I had to step out on my own and um, you know, and kind of make it happen. So. I enjoy it, but probably like you, man, if, if I'm up in a show, I enjoy the guitar player. Uh, I enjoy the bass player. I enjoy the drummer. I want everybody to solo for 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I want the song to last for 40 minutes. So, you know, but but yeah, so that, that desire to continue the music, I think is what kind of pushed me out front. 
Wow, incredible. And not only did the, uh, you know, have you paved the way with your own music, but I saw some incredible um, collaborations. Uh, talk, uh, I'm going to, I pulled a couple out of them. And you mentioned gospel music before. Um, okay. What was your uh, connection with Kurt Carr? Okay, so Kurt Carr played uh, in Detroit. We, we have a basic a convocation and whatnot. And so, um, so definitely he came in town and definitely needed folks to open up for him. And so that was kind of my affiliation there uh, and playing before for, before they came up and went forward. So, yeah. Wow, and another favorite of mine, Karen Clark. Um, yeah. Was that a similar situation or? A- yeah, very similar situation, but it's interesting because uh, our affiliations with the same church. So I played ah. with Karen at a wedding. I mean, I played with her at different times, you know, backing her up and supporting her. So, but she is, amazing you know yeah. probably the craziest singer I've, I've ever heard but yeah so i've been blessed to work you know through our church to work with them and in the, in, in the entire clark family has been a blessing that's incredible now she's the goat she's uh just yeah. unbelievable so that's very cool well hey let's get to your music so All you right. have this album out currently better together it came out in 2020 so that must have been wild releasing a project and then we all know what happened in 2020 but in your own words tell us about better together okay so really um it, it, I, I don't know in terms of how i released it i released singles first so i released oh. Breathe first and then i followed up with road trip followed up with unmasked and about a month later while i'm working while these songs are out then we release better together so but the theme of better together and i know you, you, you know, you're, you're a man. I always see you with your wife, you know. So my wife was was basically talking to me one day and she was like, she was telling me something and we were working on something. Then she said, see, we're better together. You know, all sad. I said, oh, I said, that's it. <laughs> so she named the song and she is on the track with me on Better Together, also playing saxophone. So, you know. Yeah. So she's a saxophonist as well. As we, we met at Kentucky State University in the marching band. Um, and I, I'll tell my age, because it was 1989. And she was coming down the hill and she had, and at the time, saxophones were not color, you know, different colors and all that, but she had like a black and gold saxophone. And I saw her coming and I said, ooh, look at that sax. <laughs> oh, not her, not, not look at that uh, nice no. young lady. Look at that yeah, sax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she even says to this day, she says, you married me for my sex. I said, I said you're partially right. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, I, uh, to go to your, uh, and I know the answer to this uh, due to our pre-interview, but I want you to explain because I was mistaken as well. Your latest single is called Unmasked. So I immediately thought, oh, you know, this is like kind of in the theme of we're trying to come out of, the lockdown and the pandemic, but you actually have uh, a different backstory for that track. Tell us about it. Yeah, af- absolutely. So, um, like you said, I'm multi- they're kind of multifaceted. So I've been an educator for, geez, probably about 25 years. Uh, so I used to teach African-American history, and it was a poem by Paul Lewis Dunbar called uh, We Wear the Mask. And that poem basically speaks to, it really speaks to slaves or, or African-Americans and how in society you had to kind of act one way, but then when you were at home, you, you, you kind of took that mask off. Or it also talked about like, a lot of times people are hurting, so, but you wear a mask that everything is okay. You know, so unmasked is a lot deeper. I shouldn't say a lot deeper because pan- what's deeper than a pandemic? But, uh, but, but it also has meaning in addition to the pandemic in regards to when you come home, you know, and especially early in the pandemic when you had the mask on and even like at work, you're hot. <laughs> so you know, who would want to unmask? But it's a little bit more to it as well because once again in society, sometimes we have to put on a mask to, to show, you know, to, to fit in. or You got to put on a mask because this is the way we I, I need to behave in this environment. But this is who I really am when I'm at home. So, yeah, or in, in, in the comfort of friends and whatnot, so. Wow, powerful stuff. Well, it definitely comes through in the music. It's an incredible track. And uh, like I said, I've been enjoying you for the last several years. Uh, oh. You know, hearing you on, uh, on satellite radio. So we appreciate you, Daryl. Well, before we get out of here, Please sure. just let us know. Give us the whole gauntlet. How can we find you online, social media, etc.? 
Hey, thank you so much. So um, first of all, you can find me on my website. It's Daryl BB Music, and uh, that's D-A-R-Y-L B-E-E-P-E music.com. So that's my website. But all of my social media social media is the same. I put my middle name, my middle initial in there. So it's Daryl G BB, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that good stuff. So uh, and once again, you know, you can download it on all electronic media outlets. So yeah. But listen, before we get off, you're the man. So <laughs> you're interviewing me, man, but you are the man. I enjoy you immensely. So keep doing you're what too you're kind. I, I think I think you get the title today with that jacket. So I need to grab one of those for my next show. But uh, but no, uh, you're, you're too kind. And uh, no, really, really enjoy your talent. And appreciate you taking the time to come on AH Live. All right. Thanks for having me.
goodness, the one and only Daryl Beebe. Appreciate you, Daryl, so much for taking the time to sit down. He had that, uh, he was looking fly, too. Had the bright colors. Appreciate you, Daryl, all the way from Motown. And you guys know what time it is. It's time to bring in my lovely wife, Kat, with the cat cam. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing so great. Always good to see you. I know, right? And I feel like we're still on a high from episode 100. I know. Uh, that was so much fun. It was so much fun. And we had the initiation for Cat's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I I still have the photo in here because I wanted to throw it up okay. and just remind you. If you didn't watch episode 100, go back and watch. And especially around minute 30, 35, we mm -hmm. had a brand new segment called Cat's Kitchen. Yeah. Cat just completely, completely destroyed it. Oh, Look thank you. Look at this item that she concocted. <laughs> it's a fruit salad, but it's like VIP. Right, VIP. <laughs> yeah, fruit salad for just like an appetizer, or you can use it as a dessert. When just you in case, at the whip or just, the cookie. Yeah, just in case someone wasn't watching last week, just give us a quick description of what we're seeing here. Um, well, it's a fruit salad, but it's not your grandma's fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very modernized. Um, it has like an orange and vanilla syrup to it. I know Ooh. it sounds like super sweet, but it's not sweet at all. It just gives the fruit like an extra boost and extra like citrus taste with the orange and then you have the vanilla. And um, the whipped cream, you don't have to use the whip if you don't want to, but it also adds to like that dessert factor with the cookie. You can use any shortbread cookie. This is a Biscoff. You can use Italian cookies. Um, you can crumble it on top if you want or leave it whole like that. And the whip is like an organic whip without any like fructose syrup, uh, no gluten, no high preservatives, stuff like that, no dye. So it's super mm. fresh mm. and um, tastes mm. amazing. Oh. So it's strawberries, red and green grapes, and blueberries. So good. So I know. Good. It's so good. I can personally <laughs> attest it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, so we had a lot of fun last week celebrating 100 episodes, had a uh, uh, look back at the few performances, mm -hmm. and then, of course, had the first iteration of Cat's Kitchen. I think what people want to know is when is the second <laughs> segment of Cat's Kitchen coming? I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe next week. Okay. Right. I don't know because I know, like, um, your tour schedule is getting kind of... Um, it's getting kind of wild. Busy, especially like towards the end of March, April, yeah. May. And speaking of which, <laughs> let's throw it up on the screen. So we had so much fun last week at Jimmy's. Thanks for coming through this week. Uh, you probably noticed we are pre-recording. Reason being is I uh, probably already flew to Orlando. Now I'm in the hotel chilling. But um, hanging out this weekend at Daytona Jazz Weekend. Then next week we'll be at Brothers. That's a co-bill with me, Marcus Anderson. Then we've got Burks coming up. Blue Jazz in Akron, Middle Sea in Charlotte. Very excited for all of these tour dates. So I hope to see y'all out on the road. And uh, so, yeah, as you mentioned, it is yeah. kind of busy, but we gotta, we'll got to we squeeze it in there somewhere. Yeah, we'll squeeze it people in. Really I mean, I'm sure it. people are like, but what about the days that you're not here? Right, right, right. <laughs> um, you know, like, like we say all the time, Adam Jr. is super busy. I guess um, I'd have to fit in like a recording time when he's at school. Yeah. Um, but while Adam Jr. is at school, <laughs> I use that time to like work out and then do like some stuff around the house. Yeah. <laughs> right. I guess um I guess I have some DIY coming you guys' way too because so many people they're asking, you know, for DIY videos, photos, plus recipes or video of yeah. food recipes. So um yeah. I guess I'll have to like work it all together and, and give you guys out. what you're Let's asking for. <laughs> there was a DIY project I was supposed to pull out of the bag for episode 100, but we didn't um, get to really do it because yeah. one, we were busy. Two, um, some things that I had ordered didn't come in time. <laughs> And the story so just, of our lives. It's I so know. crazy with shipping right now. It's just insane. Yeah. So maybe I'll have that ready for you guys in like another week or two. So, so we got to come up with a name for that. So we had Cat's Kitchen yeah. for, the, for the cooking. Uh -huh. For the... Uh, DIY. For the DIY. I don't know. You guys help us out with a name for the <laughs> for DIY for cat. I'm trying to think. Of Although something. I feel like a lot... You do... Adam does help with DIY as Holly's well. Holly's house. 
Holly's house. Holly's house. house. Oh, Look at see, Adam. Come on. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Arrangements while yes. you wait. Arrangements Holly while house, you wait. Or House of Holly, kind of like House of Gucci. But I don't know. Yeah. The HH is nice. It's all about alliteration. <laughs> Cat's Kitchen, Holly's House. So, Cat's Kitchen, Holly's House. Anyway. Um, so we had a million Ask Adams from last week. We didn't get a chance to get to them because we were so jam-packed celebrating mm-hmm. 100, ep- uh, 100 episodes. So yeah. I definitely wanted to make sure that we got to all of those from last week. So uh, are you able to pull those up? Can we yeah, uh, um, go I through was some able, of those? Yeah, I was only able to catch a few, even though I, I saw a lot more than what I caught. Okay. But first, so many people were just expressing their appreciation and their congrats for the 100th episode. Yeah. I still can't believe today is 101. 101. I know. So, Michael Brown. Hi, Mike and Crystal. Yeah. How are you guys? What's up, guys? Uh, he says, Cat, Adam, and Grammy, thanks for helping us maintain our sanity Aww. and in touch with the music and artists we love so over these crazy last 100 weeks. <laughs> a heartfelt thank you from all of your Smooth Jazz family. Oh, oh that's so sweet. It. That's so sweet. LaRonda Garrett says, To the Hollies, you are truly the glue that held us together for the last two years. Congratulations Aww. on 100 episodes. Well, right back at you. We were going stir crazy yeah. too, sitting in the house. <laughs> so it was fun interacting with I you know. this whole time. And, you know, especially when we were locked down oh, in 2020 crazy. in the first part of 2021, Um, (laughs) I think AH Live was really the only days that I actually like put makeup on and did something with my hair other than like it just being in a bun. Exactly. So it was kind of fun too. Like, oh, what kind of makeup look am I going to do for (laughs) AH Live? (laughs) Um, and this is from Connie Epley says, Adam and Kat, thank you for sharing your amazing music with us during a difficult time. So sweet. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Our pleasure. And this Now we're going to our um, Ask Adams. So the first one is from, do we need like our Ask Adam flag? There we go. There we go. Sorry. I should actually get a cute little flag. I, I was <laughs> I wasn't asleep on the job. I was I was working. I was DJing over here, getting my tracks together <laughs> for our background okay. music. Tommy Meyer says, "Hey Adam, how much pressure does Cat put on you to cut those beautiful curls?" And she was asking this because this is followed from right. uh, carried over from last week when we showed videos from 2020, and Adam had those. COVID curls, which was named yeah. from the uh, A.H. Lai family. To answer a lot of pressure. It's a daily <laughs> just looking at me and just like shaking her head mm-hmm. like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you, actually, I wasn't really intending on getting a haircut. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm newly coiffed. But Junior was in very much in need of a haircut. And so while I was there, I was like, ah, I might as well do it. And then, you know, then I, it'll prolong when I have to get the next one. Yeah. So I had to take him over there anyways. So figure while I'm in, <laughs> when in Rome. But um, um, did you ever tell the story when the guy thought that Adam Junior was your brother? Yes, that happened. <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. If Junior looks older, I look younger or both. Well, because but, what uh, Adam does is he doesn't have like a regular... I can't do it because he hates going to the barber. No, but if you make an appointment, it doesn't matter. You still wait forever. So now my method is go in right when they open, and that's faster than making an appointment. Yeah, but you never know who you're gonna get. Yeah, the, but and they, your cut is not gonna be the same. Every it's not gonna be the same. But uh, all the barbers at this shop do a really yeah, good that's job. Yeah, true. So yeah, so I went in, and the guy, not this most recent time, but the time before that, he said, you know, oh, did you uh, did you come in with your brother? I said, what? He said, oh, did, did you come in with your friend or your, or your brother? I said, oh, no, that's my son. He said, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I have, I have a young, uh, younger looking face, I guess. So, you do. Uh, that's yeah. so funny. I'll take it. I'll take right. it. Right. <laughs> uh, this is from Joseph England. He says, do you have any vintage guitars? Do I have any vintage guitars? You, you know, have too I many really... guitars. I know that. No, I don't. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, he does. I have 30 total but none of them are vintage. I'm trying to think the oldest one. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the oldest would be maybe 15, you know. Well, so I, I do have a guitar I bought new when I w- or my parents got for me when I was maybe 11 or 12. So, I mean, I'm getting old enough. That's vintage. <laughs> 25, a couple of those guitars from when I was in high school are 25 years old. But no, in terms of like having like a classic instrument from like, the uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, even 80s are, are kind of considered vintage at this point. No. Yeah. 
We don't have anything like that. So, <laughs> yeah, they're all newer. I, I guess, yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot of value in those and they sound great, but gosh, you know, I want to be able to play them. Mm-hmm. Um, not that I'm trying to beat them up, but at the same time, I don't want to be like, oh, you know, because some of those guitars, people just, they put them under their bed and they never play them. And right. Like, that's not, you know, that's kind of, a, you're kind of missing the point there. So, anyway. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was just like, you know, if you had something that was that expensive and then, you know, that valuable, yeah. you would really only play it at home. I, I would feel afraid to, like, take it out anywhere. Yeah, and that's what a lot of <laughs> people, they either only play it at home or they, they literally leave it locked up in its case. And then it's like, you yeah. know, what, what, you know, what have we accomplished <laughs> here? So, so um, our last Ask Adam is from Althea McMillan. And this also was followed, carried over from last week. Saying, if you had to do it all over again, would there be anything you would change with AH Live? That's interesting. I mean, we've been changing things constantly throughout, you know, just making an effort to get things better a little bit each week. So um, I've been really happy with the... the progression and especially last week when we look back at some of the older videos it's like oh my god you know mm-hmm. we started off with a, little, with a little iphone in the yeah. corner of the room <laughs> then i was like well it's a it's a show you know the primary focus is the music so so then i figure out how to get the music patched in directly then well the music sounds great but the picture isn't great so then we got mm-hmm. the lighting together and so many people helped along the way yeah. um, jeff ryan was huge in getting our lighting together uh, brian culbertson was really helpful with um, the cameras as was jeff um, Cecil Ramirez uh, was just amazing in helping get my computer together. He actually told me, buy this computer. Um, this will get you going in the right direction. We went through the whole thing of getting high-speed internet. So it was just one thing after another. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's been a fun journey. But gosh, would I change anything? Um, I don't think so. I've just been enjoying the ride, enjoying you guys, and enjoying all of the interviews. And um, I say, let's, let's keep it rolling. So <laughs> Keep I've been rolling. having fun with it. Yeah. Yeah, it has really been fun. And just like you said, it's just been such a progression. Through. I guess, I mean, if I were to change something, if we could have from day one had the quality that we have now, but we had to learn. It was a learning experience. Mm-hmm. I had never done anything with videography, yeah. anything with live streaming. And so it was very much a journey. And it was fun to, you know, just kind of learn over time. And um, now I know just enough to get myself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still by by no means a videographer or a, or a photographer, yeah. photography expert. You said, yeah, really quickly. But well, um, <laughs> anyways. I'm just saying because <laughs> I know that it's, you know, when you look at some other videos, not necessarily like other uh, jazz music artists, yeah. but just other videos on the internet these days, like it's just crazy how in depth you could get with picture quality, sound, lighting, and I feel like you've done like the top notch for Aww, someone that's you're like so sweet. an amateur and didn't know anything. <laughs> yeah, and um, I mean, uh, and one thing at a time, you know, and uh, you know, Brian's show has been really inspiring. Uh, Michael Linkton, he has a camera that moves. I, I was like, what is that? <laughs> and I went and bought a rail. It's called a camera rail the next day so that we have this nice mm-hmm. camera two shot that's moving, gives you a little dimension. I literally like was like, what is that? Okay, I need it. <laughs> so, uh, hi, hi camera too. So anyways, it's been a fun journey. So yeah, I guess if I were to change something, it would have been, you know, in a perfect world, just from episode one, we would have been putting out this quality, but it was a journey and it was a fun journey for sure. It was a journey. And then too, even if people wanted to, things were just not available. I mean, cause it was yeah. shut down. So it was crazy. a lot of companies, you know, had, had half employees yeah. or weren't, you know, open at all. Had to wait for a lot of, yeah. items. a lot of items got inflated big time. And know, we're cause... still waiting on items. I mean, yeah. it's, crazy. it's, crazy. Yeah. it's really crazy, <laughs> but yeah, I, that's all. I believe that was my last ask Adam. And then of course, everyone still is just reeling from last week's episode yeah. and t- today's episode. So many people love getting introduced to new artists and new music yeah and, yeah shout out to daryl beebe uh, yeah Darryl met Beebe. him over um facebook mm-hmm. and uh and so then we connected for the interview so it was awesome you know so it's awesome. always you know so look forward to meeting him in person yeah hopefully making some music at some point <laughs> and uh yeah we'll keep it rolling so keep it rolling awesome well thank you thanks so much honey see you guys later all right 
And uh, yeah, once again, big thanks to Daryl. Looking forward to seeing you all next week for episode 102. And uh, hey, let's let's uh, take it out with a tune. This is a fun tune um, of mine that I always enjoy playing for you guys. And uh, it's just a little ditty called Shake. Thank you.
goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it's a distinct honor to spend another Wednesday with you. Big thanks to Daryl Beebe, and we hope to see you all next week for episode 102. Quick reminder, if you want to help us out, click the link in the description for PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. Of course, you can do stars through Facebook as well. Appreciate you guys. Have a great night. Hope to see you next week. Break up happy home